If you're at all familiar with the process of live streaming, chances are you've probably come across a lot of information about video codecs and compressions, namely HEVC, or High Efficiency Video Coding, and AVC, Advanced Video Coding. And though they may seem relatively similar, the compression you use can mean a world of difference when it comes to your production workflow. For starters, why do we need to compress video in the first place? Wouldn't it make more sense to just send it straight from the camera to wherever it needs to go without routing it through an encoder? The reason being is that with a digital camera, there's an enormous amount of data being generated to retain all the details of the image. So much so that it would be nearly impossible to get all of it sent fast enough to reach the final destination intact and in real time. So what our encoder does is compresses the data down to give us a file size that can be transferred over a network while still maintaining great image quality. So now that we've gone through that long-winded explanation, what's the difference between the two main compressions, HEVC and AVC? And the answer is in the name, high efficiency. HEVC provides the same video quality as AVC at half the bitrate so we can double the amount of information, allowing for far better and more consistent image fidelity. This new compression unlocks a whole world of possibilities in both cine and live production that can enhance workflows, losslessly replicate camera feeds, and enable far more creative freedom than ever before. Whether your destination is an on-set collaborator, an online video platform, or a hardware decoder, HEVC outperforms AVC across the board. It's one thing to talk about all the advantages, but it's another to see it in action. Let's take a look at an example. We've chosen a clip of a soccer match, something that would commonly be subject of a live stream. Here's the clip in AVC at three megabits per second. Now let's take a look at the same clip at an identical three megabits per second using the HEVC codec. If we then compare the two codecs, we can see that there's a lot of information missing, especially in the areas with fine detail and lots of motion. Awesome goal, Tommy. Now common sense would dictate that we should use HEVC every time, but unfortunately, many online video platforms don't support the HEVC codec natively, so we have to deliver using AVC. However, through our cloud platform core, you're able to transcode HEVC into AVC, so we've got you covered no matter your needs. Whether you're a first time streamer or a salty old seasoned vet on high budget productions, it's important to remain informed about video codecs and encoders so you can keep firing on all cylinders and deliver the best content possible.